Ready? Yeah, go. Are you ready? Are you ready to milk the goats? Easiest way to get our dogs excited. Let's go milk. Dora, let's go milk. Come on. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Every time. All right, let's milk the goats. Still smells like rotten meat out here, no matter what we do. Last week, the worst thing happened when we came back from vacation. We didn't even record this, but our freezer was left open and we lost all of our lamb and the last of our chicken. It was nasty. I think it's like we were sad about the loss of meat, but we were even more sad because the house reeked of rotten meat. That thing had been left open for a good four days. Without fail, Doris and the piggies are waiting for us. She's always first. Oh wait, I forgot the uh, I forgot the carrots and the uh, pumpkin seeds. I'll be right back. First your vegetables. Yep. Two carrots, and then you can have your dessert. She loves the carrots. Yeah. Good job, Doris. Well, I'm gonna milk you today, Doris. Check on ya. This is a change. I get a milk and you get to talk to me. Okay, oh, you're all done? <laughs> hey, Ethan, you gotta wash her off again when you're done. And then you put on the oil. And then you put on the oil. Have a good day. Okay. Oh, Penny's gonna run, yeah. I got her. It's like totally opposite goats. One yeah. runs. One that loves to be milk. <laughs> one that loves to be milk and one that hates to be milk. Let me give her some carrots and maybe she'll be happy. She loves the carrots. Penny, don't you know you're gonna get a treat? See? It's fun to be milked. Oh, gotta get that one. Isn't that yummy? Another one? She doesn't like those? That is so funny. <clears throat> you like the carrots, but you don't like the seeds. Jeez Louise. Trying to find something that all the goats like, it's like having your kids and trying to find something that all of your kids like. It's impossible. So funny. Luna doesn't like the carrots, but she likes the pumpkin seeds. And Penny doesn't like the pumpkin seeds, but she loves the carrots. We ran out of goat grain. It's an organic, non-GMO grain, but they do really well without it. They produce milk just fine. So we just give them really good hay, so really good alfalfa hay. We also give them the chaff hay, which is like a fermented alfalfa hay, and then they get a bunch of extra scraps and treats from the garden. Normally, they love pumpkin seeds, but Penny's being kind of, no, she's eating them now. Once you start milking them. Once you start milking, she does. See, those are yummy. Pumpkin seeds are actually really good for goats because they help with worms in the digestive tract. That's really helpful. Plus these are salted with kelp. And so that's really good for goats too. I think we're gonna stick with that for a while, especially since it's the summer and it's hot outside and I don't wanna be giving them grain, which is something that makes them even hotter. You know, she might be holding some back for Willow. She like stretches out her neck. All right, there's your mom. You're taller than your mom now. Oh no, she's not. <laughs> she wants to come in. She's gonna go play with mom out there. Come on. Luna, come on. How did she get her head in there? Turn and pull. Come on, just turn. Oh my gosh. Uh, she has to turn her head so she won't come out unless she like, wants to. <laughs> okay, turn her head. Oh, there, there she go. goes. Ready, go. <laughs> okay. There you go. There you go. 
Luna is looking so good. Not bloated. That chafe does wonders. Ready, set, go. Okay, not yet. Ready, false alarm. False alarm. <laughs> Ready, Ready, go. You have to you have to do it. You have to do her tail. Yeah, yeah. Grab her tail. There you go. See if you like carrots today. Look. It's a good one. Eat it. <laughs> Alright, well we'll see if you eat that one later. Oh, she ate it. She ate it. She likes it. Oh, I'm so happy that Luna isn't bloated anymore. It was the pellets all along. She eats them too fast. You're all done, let's go. All right, bye, have a good day. Don't be a bully, make good choices. We still have Floki here because we wanna see in about a week, here they go, if Mabel's gonna go into heat. And it's a lot easier to tell if a goat's gonna go into heat if you have the male goat here. Mr. Floki's gonna stay here till we maybe have an idea if Mabel is pregnant. Also Tilly, she'll be a week later. Hey, how you doing? We see you got some shade, right? Life's not all bad. <laughs> Trying to clean out the shed. And I moved this bucket, and there's a snake under it. Let's see if it went under there. I'm pretty sure it did. Lift it up. The bucket? Mm-hmm. Ready? Yeah, go. Go. All right. <gasps> there it is. Dead, dead! Oh! It's gonna go under the shed. Grab it! Oh! Ah! The garden might bite you! No, no it's, just guys, a it's just a little garden snake. Is it a garden snake? Did it bite you? I doubt it. <laughs> is it a garden snake? <sighs> <laughs> Stressful. <laughs> Scary. I also came across a few scorpions in here too. Oh no. But there's no way to get them. Yeah. Because they go, they run away too fast. Yeah. Even though we live in Arizona, we don't really come across snakes that much because we're in the city. So the snakes are kind of on the outskirts of town. Normally it's just garden snakes like that. We've never seen like a rattler or anything scary. But that was a little bit scary, right? These are Placo fish. We're gonna release them and let them eat the algae on the rocks. I don't think they're gonna make a huge difference. Okay, ready? There they go. One step. Where'd they go? Look. Oh, they go right to eating it. Oh man, look at that. They just latched on? They just latched on in two seconds. There's one right here and one right here. Could you touch them? It swim away. Okay. You guys don't want to swim? Nah. Me and Dad this time? Alright, so we got some other plants that are be fully submerged, like in a tank, completely under the water. So we're gonna plant them. They're just these bare root ones. We're just gonna plant them fully submerged under the water. Okay, ready? Oh, you're scaring Dora out of her mind. I know. These are perfect. Just enough to not fizz over, but carbonated enough. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna put them in the fridge. Okay, but before I put the last one in, you have to try one. Okay, go for it. So you already tried them, right? I did, it's really good. This is cherry, Lydia's favorite flavor. If she likes this, Oh, that's really good. Yep. Cherry kombucha it just has to get cold and it'll be perfect. Yeah. Aw, look, Liddy. <laughs> look how cute you guys were. Wait. Oh, Lydia with dirt on her face. That's dirt? I thought that was like a cupcake. Nope, just dirt. Ah. <laughs> I ate dirt? Yep.
Hey guys, this is my first time making fermented pickles. Like I'm actually gonna leave this on the counter and hope that it doesn't kill us all. So <laughs> I've made refrigerator pickles before where you mix up a salty brine and then put it in the fridge and let it get all vinegary and delicious. This is a different method. This is where I'm gonna leave it on the counter and it's in a really salty brine so no bad bacteria should grow. And as long as everything is submerged under the liquid, it will be able to make it nice and crispy and tangy, just like sauerkraut. Just like sauerkraut, Lydia, trust me. Trust me, you love sauerkraut. Wait, aren't these pickles? Yeah, these are pickles, but I'm just saying, they're gonna be just as good as, as sauerkraut. I got these lids from a guy a few years ago. I'll try to see if I can find his website. This is just a way to release the extra CO2. It doesn't have to be this complicated. People ferment in all sorts of different containers without all this fancy stuff. So I'll post a few links below if you're interested in learning this method. We'll see how it is in a few days. We'll keep you guys updated. We're going to go out and feed the pigs because after a long day of pickle making, we have all this crap left over. Why are they so loud? They know exactly what we're out exactly. here to do. Okay. okay. They can already smell the pickles. <laughs> okay. Pick, 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 pick. Even they the goats love like it. the pickles. What the heck? Oh, they're so Even crappy. Even emu wants a little bit. Help. <laughs> He just went to get the bucket. Oh well. Oh gosh! Whoa. What the heck, pig? Tilly is so small. Do you think Willow's like taller than her? Stop! Let's just see. I'm just I'm just really curious Tilly. actually. Oh, she's still shorter than her. Just barely. Tilly is such a small goat. She has not been growing tall at all. You both look really good right now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Well, we're out here saying goodnight at the pond. See you guys tomorrow. Okay. See you later. See ya.